Okay, USD JPY, it is time. And this is a move we've been waiting for, and it's finally happened. And market even showed a fake breakout. Now, this is so important for you, and I really need to make this video as soon as possible because I know a lot of traders would have seen this breakout and thought, okay, sell, look to go on the downside. And the market, you know, it faked you out. And now we are looking to go to the upside. Now, remember what I said in my previous video with USDJPY, I said we need to look at the November support. I was very confident that price is going to go get there. It hasn't got there yet, but I know price is going to hit this November support. It might not, you know, break through it, but it was definitely going to hit there. Now, the reason why um, I'm making this video is because fake breakouts are real, guys. And I know a couple of people that actually traded this trade and, you know, they thought it was going to be a sell and it just didn't happen right now you have to always be careful with the market and a bit more patient and again if you are not careful or patient make sure you're looking at um the chart because if you're not looking at the chart in different time frames and you're only looking at let's say the four hour time frame and the 15 minute time frame and you're not looking in between you're going to miss out on potential moves so again we said last video we're in some sort of consolidation you know price goes up it broke out couldn't really go as high as possible, went back down, back in consolidation. And this time it broke down to the downside. Now, a lot of people were thinking, including me, I was like, hold on a minute, price is definitely going to try and test this section. Now, it didn't test the section, but it did test an area where we didn't mark. Have a look at this, guys. And this is why I say market structure is very, very important. Obviously, we've got fundamental analysis. We've got some sort of technical analysis, you know, moving averages. We've got RSI levels. But market structure is one of the most important things in trading. Because if you don't have your market structure organized, if you don't have your market structure in order, and you don't even know the general direction of the market, you will not be able to place successful trades. And that's just the harsh reality of it. So, um, yeah, let's look at this area right here. Okay. Now, this is an area, price rejected over here, price rejected over here, and it's not as strong. It, obviously, I'm not looking at the four hour, but we're looking at the one hour. It's not as strong, but we did see some sort of rejection. And what did price do? It got back to the area, and it bounced right off, you know? You could have easily been in a trade for this. You could have easily, you know, break out, and a lot of traders probably retest and put sells over here, right? But what would have happened if you placed sales over here, stop loss just above here, and targeted, let's say, down here, right? Which is a normal trade, which is a really, really nice trade. But what did price do? Price stopped you out. Why? Because you didn't look at the market structure. Market structure, right? Price did not show any type of, you know, any type of rejection or didn't show any type of reversal and it's very important to see a reversal candlestick again if you don't know what a reversal candlestick is what it is is it's a candlestick like this and let me just uh, let's go to just i'll just use a breakout box okay what it is is a candlestick like this like that that's a reversal candlestick where price is you know it's so heavy on the upside right so if we're going down and you know the market is going down towards this side and priced and then we see this candlestick we know that price is going to either fake us out or it's going to go to the upside right as simple as that sorry about the bad drawing guys but this is the simplest way i can explain it to you so what do we see do we see any of that no we didn't so we had to wait be patient guys okay be patient we then see a push to the downside because sellers were in control. A lot of people were selling. But what happened? The big traders, the big funded traders, they said, nope, we're going to cancel out these, these small accounts and we're going to you know, continue to the upside because that's what price is doing anyways. If we saw on the four hour chart, what do we see? Price is going up. Don't change your analysis, guys. If price is going up, stay to the upside. It's simple as that. So price decided to go up and then price pushed its way to the up, broke out of my um, consolidation box and now we saw a retest and now where's price headed to? Potentially our November support. So what are we looking for now? What, what, are we, 
what's the move we can see now? Because obviously a lot of people have been stopped out, a lot of people, you know, saw this fake breakout. What should we do now, right? Could we have traded here? Yes, you could have, but it's too risky. Could I have traded here? Yes, I can, and I should have. But again, I didn't know exactly what market structure is doing. But now we have perfect confirmation that price is going to go to the upside. Why? Because we see some sort of nice rejection to the bottom. And we're still waiting for price to... Um, hold on, let me show you. I'm still waiting for price to break above here. But once price breaks above these highs, we're looking for another retest or some sort of retracement down to the downside. And we are going to trade up to the November support. Now, let's have a look at this trade and see what it's looking like. So if I place a trade over here, right, stop loss will be around like 73 pips. And um, we're going for all the way up to here. Again, we might not even have to go to 73 pips. You could put a stop loss here. But again, if I'm giving it some room, we can go over here. It is a really small one to four ratio. Again, we're probably looking for better um, entries. But it's, again, it is a trade, right? Maybe I might risk less, but it is a trade. Now, I know I say that if it's not a one to two ratio, I'm not going to trade. But if I go on the 50 minute chart, we will see that the previous low is like around here. But again, I don't want to give it a tight stop loss, right? I don't want it to be too tight. But then again, look, this is a one to two ratio now, right? So that is the move that I'm looking for right now with USDJPY. We have been waiting for this move for almost a week now. It is um, now happening and we're just going to be patient. We're not going to rush any buys because again, Price could have faked us out over here as well and then just keep going back in the consolidation for the whole week. And that's what price can do. Um, again, if you're not, if you're not, if you're new to trading and you don't know about fake breakouts, have a look at gold. Gold does the most fake breakouts. Why? Because gold would like to stop out all the small account traders, right? The market's not mean, but what it hates is it hates small account traders that think they can flip accounts. That's what the market hates. So if you're going to place a trade with a tight stop loss with a huge take profit, it's very, very unlikely. Obviously, you've got the you know one or two percent chance where price will get to your take profit, but there is always that you know an 80 to 90 percent chance where you will hit your stop loss. Why? Stop loss is too tight, or your account is just too small and you're risking too much, right? If your one trade is gonna blow your account, right? Your the market's not gonna be nice to you, you will blow the account. Just have that in your mind. Obviously, the market might not do that, but have that in your mind because then when you're placing trades, you know that, okay, I'm risking 52 pips, I have a hundred pound count. If I do a normal standard lot size, right, I'm going to be risking half of my account, right, 52 pounds. Is that smart? Is that logical? That means in two trades, I am losing the, I'm losing my, my, my whole account, right? But now, 52 pips, if I just make a smaller lot size and say, okay, I might just only risk, you know, maybe 10 pounds or 20 pounds, which is still a lot, but obviously it's a small account, 10, 20 pounds, right? Let's say I risk 10 pounds. I can do 10 trades and that's my whole account blown. Very unlikely the market will make you lose 10 times. If it does, uh, that means your, your, it's not the market's fault, it's actually your strategy's fault, right? But let's say I risk 10 pounds. I'm actually potentially gaining 20 pounds in this trade. Is that nice? Yes, it is, because in a hundred pound account, 20 percent, um, 20 pounds uh, growth is what? 20 percent, right? 20 percent growth in a trade. That's amazing. A lot of traders don't realize that, you know, some traders only make two, three percent in the market, right? We're making 20 percent. Be grateful. Some uh, stocks don't even make 20 percent growth, right? Not in one day, not in one trade, right? So make sure that you know how much you're risking. And just be patient. If you're risking too much, don't do it. But again, this trade is looking nice. This is a move that I'm definitely looking for. Probably going to put my stop loss just below here. Uh, yes, it's only one to four ratio, but I also have another trade running as well. So I don't want to risk too much. But yeah, this is a trade I am looking for. Again, I can just easily place a buy right now and wait for that retest and place another buy. But I'm not heavily confident with this chart right now. So we are just going to be patient. We are going to be waiting. So yeah. Just patient, make sure you stay tuned. Again, if you're not subscribed, subscribe and turn that bell notification on because once I upload the USDJPY trade, it's going to be live. So you're going to see me place the trade on a live account and you don't want to miss that out. So it will be live and I will be uploading it within the same day. And so if you are not 
updated with my YouTube, again, be in the Discord. The Discord never misses out. If you haven't seen my videos already, and if you don't uh, know, I have a Discord chat, which is completely free. You don't have to pay any single price. There's no, once you go in there, there's a course. There's none of that. It's completely free. We talk. I do my analysis. Everything's transparent, right? So make sure you check that out as well. Again, if you enjoy watching these type of videos where I'm breaking down the stru uh, market structure, or I'm telling you my next move, or I'm telling you why I placed a trade or why I hit a loss, make sure you subscribe because that would help me out a lot. It will let me know if you're enjoying these type of videos and make sure you like it as well and join the community. Anyways, I'll see you lot in the next video.